I want to tell you about my Uncle Dolphus. Uncle Dolphus grew up on the farm and out in the big city of Green Sea, South Carolina. Big place. They still don't even have a stop sign there. Well, let me tell you, Uncle Dolphus was born and raised, grew up on that farm, and he hardly ever left. But he was a young man. He did leave one time, though. He left to go off, off to war. We know he got over there to Europe. He wasn't there for just a couple days. And a bomb blew up right next to him and blew out his eyeball. Just blew it smack out. Well, of course, he got to come back home. And when he did, uh, being as high, he just had a hole there, he went over to the VA hospital to see about getting him another eyeball. Now, he went up there to the desk, and the fellow sitting there at the desk, and and uh, the man reached out behind the desk and he picked up this big old box boop, and set it on the counter. It was full of glass eyeballs. Oh, there was red ones and green ones and brown ones and blue ones and all different sizes. Well, you see, the government, even back then, they were a little short on money. And uh, so they had to reuse the eyeballs. Man, when somebody would had one, and, you know, he'd conk off. Well, well, they'd take the eyeball back out, and they'd wash it off, and they'd put it in this box. Well, they looked at Uncle Dolphus, and he looked and spread them eyeballs out all across the counter there and, and trying to find one that was just right. And they couldn't exactly find the right color, but Uncle Dolphus said, I can't see out of it anyway, so it don't make any difference. So they gave him one. Now, it was a little bit, just a little bit too, uh, too small. But see, let me tell you about Uncle Dolphus. Uncle Dolphus was a, a very big man. Why, well, he's six foot eight, weighed over 300 pounds. Now, he stuck that eyeball in there, and the trouble was that being a little small, sometimes when he'd turn his head this way, it'd kind of boom, and it'd fall over that way. Or if he'd, he'd turn his head, it'd kind of go over this way. Well, well one day, Uncle Dolphus, he was, uh, he was there in the house, and Aunt Blanche was fixing some stew. And uh, he went over there, and boy, that stuff smelled good. And he just took a big old sniff, and that pepper got up his nose, and, ah, shoo, and that eyeball went right out into that bucket of stew. Well, they fished all around in there with a spoon and, and uh, come up with a few potatoes and carrots, but they couldn't find that eyeball. And so they, he had to go without it for three days. So they ate that pot all the way down to the bottom, and then they found that thing. Well, they took it, and they washed it off, and, and it was kind of, Kind of orange, you know how stew kind of turns things. But Uncle Dolph said, I can't see out of it anyway, so what difference does it make? So he stuck that thing back in his head. Well, you know, when Uncle Dolph was 64 years old, his kids decided it was time for him to leave the farm again and go to the fair. Now, Uncle Dolph had never been to the fair. Never. And it was quite a trip for him. Well, they got in that old pickup truck, and they rattled down that road, and they got to that fair, and they went inside, and, oh, he couldn't believe all the stuff he saw. Oh, roller coasters and Ferris wheels and all kinds of stuff. Well, Uncle Dolphus went over, and his kids wanted him to ride the roller coaster. Now, he'd never been on a roller coaster before. He didn't even know what one did. But they said, hey, you, Daddy, you got it. You got to ride it. So he got in there, and you know how a roller coaster is. Usually there's two people sit side by side and those things, but Uncle Dolphus, you know, him being kind of a big old fella, he, he got in, he kind of wedged himself down in there and pulled that bar down, and it wasn't quite closed, but he rested them big old heavy arms on there, and he figured he'd be okay. Well, they started that roller coaster up, and it started going down, and, and then it click, 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 click. You know how they go up, and they go up, and they go up, and click. And Uncle Dolphus was noticing the birds was kind of flying close by here. And he was beginning to wonder after a while, click, click, click it. Maybe the planes, if they was flying high enough to clear this thing. And, and, and after a while, it would click, and, and it made it to the top, and it, whoop, and it stopped right there. Well, Uncle Dolphus, he, he turned around at his son in the back, and he said, Well, that ride weren't so bad. <laughs> that thing started down the hill. And it got to the bottom, and then it pewing this way. And then it come to the loop, to the loop. Now, the first one wasn't too bad, because it was going pretty fast. But it got to the second one, it slowed down a little bit, and it got right up in the middle of that curve, and that old bar come up. And Uncle Dolphus flipped right up. 
and landed in the car in front of him, head first. Those poor two old people sitting there in the front seat, out, yeah, smashed out at the bottom. There's Uncle Dolph, boom, feet hanging up, just waggling in the air, and boom, that rolled. And they come to a stop, and there was Uncle Dolphus, and he's, he's, his just body just wedding. Those people in there going, get us out of here. And then old feet just wagging in the air. It took three people to pull him out of that thing. He got out, and he was walking around. Whoa, let's do that again. But I said, no, Uncle Dolph, let's, let's, let's kind of cool it on the roller coasters here. So they took him over, and they were walking over, and he saw what he wanted to do. Why there? Well, you know, you've seen these games at the, at the fairs. They had these milk bottles stacked up, and you took a baseball, and you throw that thing, and knock them down and win a prize. Well, there was a six-foot-long pink fuzzy alligator hanging up over top of that thing. And Uncle Dolphus saw it, and that's what he wanted. Why, he plucked down a couple of dollars and got some quarters, and he hauled back, and throw that ball. Well, there's one problem. A man with only one eyeball doesn't have real good depth perception, and no matter how hard he threw that ball, or how many times he couldn't hit, or he couldn't even get near those bottles. Well, Uncle Dolphus was getting a little bit discouraged. And one of his kids said, Daddy, let's go over here and ride the bumper cars. Take your mind off of this. So they got over there. Well, Uncle Dolphus, he'd never been on the bumper cars. And he got out there. And, and you know, those things aren't very big. And Uncle Dolphus, he kind of figured how to get in that thing. He, he got in there and he kind of squinched down in that seat. And he like, look, the steering wheel right up here like this. And he hit in there. And the man turned the machine on. And he's sitting there. He wasn't going nowhere. You see, he, he didn't know about that little button you had to push down there. And he just, and those people come along, and they, blam, and they run into it. Blam, run on this side, boom, on this side. Uncle Dolph just sitting there, and he started getting mad. And next time that car come up there, we we're going to run into him. Uncle Dolph would reach out, that big old meteor arm, and he'd go, whew, and he slung that thing across the track. And one come the other way, whew, and sling that thing across the track. Well, the man come out there, and he said, you can't do that. And he showed him where that button was. So Uncle Dolphus, he got that button. And he's going along. Well, you know, being as big a man as he was and so heavy, when he come around the corner and he hit somebody, they'd just go flying. I mean, he's just knocking them right left. Well, they come around the corner, and these two guys decided they was going to get even with him. So when he come around the corner, one of them going each side, they come around, they got right up in the front. And old Uncle Dolphus, he's sitting there. No matter how he turned that steering wheel, he couldn't turn. He just kept going straight. And they run him right smack into the wall. <laughs> when he hit that wall, he come flying up, shoo, out of that car, and he caught that old pole right between him. Boom! That eyeball goes shoo, shooting out of his head, across the thing, and hit two stacks of milk bottles. Good <laughs> knocked them clean down. Well, Uncle Dolphus got off the ride. He went over there, told that man, he said, I want that pink fuzzy alligator up there. I done knocked down all them bottles. Now, well, with my eyeball, but I done it. A man had to agree they was knocked down. Well, the man went back there and he started looking. He found Uncle Dolph's eyeball. Had a little chip in it, but couldn't see out of it anyway, so it didn't make any difference. Stuck that thing back in and took that fuzzy alligator home. Now, he took that thing home, and he nailed it up right over the top of the fireplace. And whenever people would come to visit, he'd get over to that thing, and he'd say, Yep, got that gator down in the Everglades. We was in a canoe, and we was paddling along. That thing grabbed the front of that thing. He didn't even. It was a terror. He flipped us upside down, and lucky for me, I had to paddle. It was a terrible fight. I was fighting, and, he, and I killed him, and I stuffed him, and there he is. Now, ain't too many people going to argue with a 300-pound fella, is there? What can you say? 